Gum Boy, and I'm about to show you guys how to uh, remake the Baby Pluto beat, uh, how I remade it basically, and how I pretty much put it put it together and stuff like that. Um, so I'll just move this over here, and uh, I'll just play the beginning. I'll just go part by part throughout the beginning. So in the original, you have that beginning part with lots of effects. I didn't recreate all the cool effects and vocal stuff just for obvious reasons, but like this is how it goes pretty much. You have this intro part that loops. In the very beginning of the intro, it actually uses the last four bars of like the thing to bring the song in, and then it begins kind of again, like it, it loops, it, then it plays the whole pattern for the first time. So, yeah. So yeah, basically you have these these bells right here, which are Nexus, the plucked fairy tale plugin, uh, which are just kind of right here. Like, like. And these actually have a kind of filter on them. I used the free love filter to kind of recreate that, and a little bit of EQ took a little bit of the low end out. Um, and then on top of that, you have. Uh, there you go. These bells and that kind of creates, you know, that's pretty much the vibe of the whole song right there. And those are hands up bells for the Alton Nexus. That's kind of going there. So yeah, and then last, um, you have these bells that are repeating through the whole song, kind of. Um, So yeah, the better do it there. We go dun dun. We go dun dun. So yeah, they're doing that dun 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 sound right there. And then last in the melody is at the very end of the eight bar pattern, there's a there's that, that that cool little alien sound, you know, lets you know that you're about to jump on the UFO Uzi. You know, and that sound is uh right here. It's plugged VZ bells too. And then underneath all of that, there's like a there's a bass line that's playing, so I'll just unsolo this. So yeah, there's, there's this bass line right here, and I use a, a deep saw, because it's like kind of a deep saw sound, and uh, I use also from Nexus, and I also, what I did was, I took the lows out of it, because it's kind of airy, and what they also do is they layer it with this kind of hit sound that's also Nexus, which is kind of like a chill kind of pad kind of thing. And this sound actually used later on for some more effects, but so those are the breaks in the beat and stuff like that. It keeps going. So we can go to the drop, so drums right here you know the drum lines um pretty much we have a typical bando trap snare we got typical trap clap plug 808 sorry not plug 808 this plug eight away, this one, sorry. It's a little bit different, but from the original plug eight away. This one has a bit more kick to it. Which kind of gives that nice. Which layers with the kick. You have this. This is a rat kick, right? 
Yeah, it's a standard rack kick called Savage Mode Kick. A little bit of boost on there. Huh? All right, yeah, it's different. But yeah, and um, then you got yeah, just typical trap hi hats. Um, there's two hi hats layers. That's kind of repeating all throughout this right here. Where is it? Yeah, pretty much just a basic open hi hat. I guys want some Balenciaga kit. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the drums, you know. And then the 808 line, as I said, it was a. Uh, it's like a little different from a plug 808. But if you go. To it's just going from, it's just following the chord progression of the song pretty much of, uh, where is it? Yeah, so you got it. So it's going B to G sharp. So B, D, B, and then down to the F. And then, so it's D. Follow the chord from the songs, you know what I mean? The song is pretty much like a basic rift in uh I think this is Yeah, so B B flat minor. Very simple riff. And then um, what's interesting is at the end, so after this part, there's like a, there's a cool break time here where it's just the bass and these synths here. So yeah, after this part of the song, when the, the riff comes back, it comes out without those bells. It's just more subdued. And it's the same bells, but it just has more filter on it. So the, the more of the high ends are gone, and the, those high bells aren't there anymore. So if you listen to the original one, it's like this. And then by the end of the song, it's like this. much the layout and format for this song pretty much that's pretty much how um yeah that's pretty much how it is this is the exact layout of the song i checked it here with all the beat breaks and everything um if you guys like this you can download the flp right down below in the section there'll be a link to download for the flp as well as all the uh sounds drum sounds used in this program and uh so yeah as so you guys have nexus um you guys can check this out for yourselves and learn uh, how I did this and check it out. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned.